We are Indiana in the Morning here on WCCS, same 1160, 101.1 FM. We are joined this morning by a couple of all-time great football names from Blairsville Bobcat High School football. Former coach Ernie Widmar, Hall of Famer for Indiana County. Uh, former running back Frank Harsh, also an Indiana County Hall of Famer, with us this morning. And we want to talk about a special event, the high school football season, kicking off one week from Friday. That will be August the 23rd. Blairsville will be hosting Penn's Manor, and that time period, they are going to rename the Blairsville Football Stadium in honor of Coach Ernie Widmar. Coach, it's good to see you again. What did you think when you heard about the renaming of the field? Well, the first thing I thought of is it couldn't be me because a little old boy from Dilton, you know, you just go through United High School, you go to Clarion, and you come out and you get a job, and you're never expecting it at that time that you possibly would be honored on down the road when you got a little older. But I really think all through this time that I've been at Blairsville that, as I said before, the name is Ernie Woodmore and the field is Ernie Woodmore, but there's a lot of people associated with that name, and they all belong to the football players, the school boards, the people of Blairsville, and everybody I've been associated with all my life. And I thank them very, very much. Frank Harsh, you've been instrumental in putting this uh, whole evening together. Why don't we take a look at the schedule? Activities will actually kick off next Thursday, August 22nd. Is that correct? That's correct, Jack. I appreciate you having us Mm -hmm. here. Um, We're going to have a bonfire, start kickoff things uh, on Thursday. And then uh, that's at 745. like everybody from Blairsville to participate in that. That would be great. Friday, we're going to have... you know, we're going to have the Elks open. Uh, they were generous enough to give us the, the hall, and we're going to have that open from 12 to 5. And uh, we're going to have things like, you know, the yearbooks and uh, video of Coach Whitmore and, you know, his coaching days and, and things like that that people can come in and out. And uh, they can get food if they want to from the Elks. Then we're going to have the parade at 6 o'clock, and it's going to go the whole way up to uh, the football field. Uh, we're going to honor, honor Coach Whitmore. Um, and then at halftime, we're going to do the ceremony where we'll have uh, Coach Vittori come out and do a proclamation, and uh, and then we'll have Rick Harper, uh, who was instrumental in in helping me to get this job done, uh, to get the field named Dirty Woodmore Field, Uh, and he'll do the presentation, and and it'll uh, it'll be dedicated to Coach Woodmore. Then after the event, uh, 10 to 12, the Elks will still be open after the game. You know, people could come in for refreshments or whatever they want to do. And so that's the day. I understand that uh, you're putting together a special scrapbook. So if any Blairsville alumni or Blairsville football fans have any information, some photographs, uh, they can submit that, and that will be considered for your scrapbook project, correct? That is correct. Is there a number that they can to call if they have it's this information It's on the – uh, I have it right here. Okay. They, they can call you at 724-388-7979. Now, of course, uh, a lot goes into putting something together like this, and a lot of people are involved in any great career. Both of you had outstanding careers at Blairsville, both being named to the Indiana County Hall of Fame. And I was just thinking the other day, the number of outstanding coaches that both of you fellows have worked with down through the years, that is an impressive list. Well, think about it. Uh, you know, there's been really three coaches at Blairsville, uh, Coach Woodmore, Coach Etori, and Coach Artley. So, uh, you know, we've got a lot of tradition at Blairsville uh, with coaches. And, and Coach Woodmore, without Coach Woodmore, you know, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Um, you know, he instilled uh, a lot of desire, enthusiasm, uh, and dedication. And, uh, you know, and it produced in me. I wanted to come back from college. I couldn't and, – and a uh, coach, and I still am a coach at Blairsville, and uh, this is this will be my 43rd year coaching at Blairsville, and I just love the kids of Blairsville, and I uh, I got it from Coach Woodmore. Coach Woodmore, I've heard this story before, but uh, let's uh, tell folks how you got involved in coaching high school football. How did that all begin? Well, when I came out of Clarion in 1962, I applied for the Blairsville job. At that time, it was track coach and. I had JV basketball that first year. And then 1963, I started coaching at Blairsville with Mr. Don Johnson. 
in 64 was Dick Hetrick, and in 65 was Ted Nypover, who took the job in Mount Pleasant. And I was called into the office one day, and they said, the job is yours. And I said, what job? And they said, the head football job. We've been waiting for you to get a little older. So all of a sudden here in 1966, at 26 years old, I became the Blairsville Bobcat coach, but I went home and told my mom and dad when I was a bachelor at that time, I told them that I may be a coach one year or a long time, but I went there and I t took a winning season for a couple of years and then had a couple of down years, and then all of a sudden Frank came along and all of a sudden things started to change. In fact, at one time there, when Frank was a freshman, I was uh, offered a job at United when uh, Coach Medill decided to retire and I was going to be the old United alumni, but I knew Frank was coming. I said, I'm going to win for the next three years, and that was true. And that uh, career at Blairsville lasted over 20-some years, didn't it? And I enjoyed every second of it, and I can't tell you how much I enjoyed co teaching and coaching in Blairsville Salisbury School District. Great kids, great teachers, and a great town. And, Coach, you still get out to games on Friday night. I go to all the home games on Friday night. When I first retired, I was a two-way man. I went away games and home games, but as the years rolled by, I got a little older, got a little tougher, so... The radio came in on away games, and the home games, I'm still in my end zone. Frank, I know there's a lot of folks that we need to thank for helping to put this special uh, recognition of Coach Whitmore together. Some other folks that you'd like to throw out a thank you to? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to thank Connie Constantino. She's really done a good job in uh, you know, getting this all together, prayed together and everything, and she's got her hand in everything. Uh, also, I'd like to thank Abdi Torrey. Uh, Jim Buckle was the athletic director of Blairsville. And obviously, uh, Rick Harper, the, he's on the board, president of the board. Uh, and, and, you know, he's done a lot to, to get, this, uh, get this going, too, also. Again, let's review what's going to take place. It will be uh, opening up Thursday, August 22nd. Uh, open up to the, the community. And uh, that will be a special bonfire, which will be held at 7.45 p.m., on the boat launch side of the Riverwalk in Blairsville. An open house to honor Coach Widmar will be held Friday, August 23rd, before and after the Blairsville Penns Manor football game. Uh, Coach is going to be there. Lots of alumni will be on hand. That will be at the Blairsville Oaks from 1 until 5 p.m. And then again after the game from 10 until midnight. A special parade prior to the kickoff of the game, Friday, August 23rd. That will start at 6 p.m. and make it make its way up to Market Street and then to the football field a uh, special uh, presentation will take place then and of course if you have any items or some information that you would like to add to this special celebration you can call frank harsh at 724-388-7979 uh, ernie and frank i just uh, thank you so much for taking the time this morning and coming down and spending a little bit thank of time you. with us here on Indiana Thank in the morning. All right, we will look forward to that. Of course, you'll hear all the Blairsville football games on Cat Country 106.3 FM. We continue with more of Indiana in the Morning, brought to you by First Commonwealth Bank.